Hi, I'm Catherine Story. Welcome to my channel, House of Story. I just recently was introduced to Elena Valez, who is an emerging designer. She just won the CDFA award in February. And gosh, so interesting. Um, she's really did this, she did this fashion show in Brooklyn in a warehouse and got a lot of attention for her edgy, her provocative, her, her like, the press really said it was like, this is like a design, designer we need to watch. Like she's really speaking for the time. And I read this article about her and all the money that she's had to put in, you know, from her, her mother's IRA to friends to not being able, apparently the model on this show cost $40,000, um, to like trying to get the right nails that, you know, for her show. I, and you know, as a designer myself and I had no funding and I was self-taught, it's so interesting to me, the different paths we take. She has been compared to Alexander McQueen in that, um, like kind of that struggling, designer, although Alexander McQueen wasn't recognized until he was recognized, right? So this sounds like, I, I'm so concerned about the fashion industry and that now that, you know, big business sees fashion as money, you know, what they might be doing, like what are they saying by, you know, giving her an award giving her different uh, uh, grants, although she's not getting the big grants. And, and then what happens for her is her, her pieces are not, are more, they sound more artistic. She sounds more of an artist to me. And so they're not picked up by a lot of different boutiques. Like how does she get her money back basically? What is she gonna do to get her money back? Is she going to just keep borrowing money from family and friends and not being able to pay her bills? So for me, circling this back to when I started as a designer, I didn't have any money. I, but what I, so what was happening to me was I had a boutique, but I would, the electricity would get turned off because I couldn't pay. And so I specifically remember this one time and a client came in and the electricity had been turned off because I didn't pay it. And I was like, oh, they're working on the street over there. And, you know, this is like the reality of being um, a committed artist or designer. You know, in any sort of field of art, you, know, you could be a musician. So the question is, you know, how much do you keep feeding the animal, right? Like, when do you start looking at the results and start saying, you know, to throw in more money at the, to throw more money at this is not the answer for me. I didn't have. I mean, my, I, my mother gave me a few thousand dollars, um, which I paid her back over the years. It kind of she was like my bank account. Maybe I would borrow a thousand, pay her back a thousand. Like that was sort of thank God. I mean, I'm grateful of, for that. I had to figure a way out. I'm grateful that I wasn't given a huge amount of money at that time because you tend to, you know, maybe buy unnecessary things. Like, like why does she need a $40,000 model if she's trying to get the press, which she, she's getting the press, but it's not translating into sales. So basically it's not translating into success, right? So what does a young designer do? You know, there's no answer for that. But, you know, what's the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same thing and expect different results. For her, and it's so true, you know, the, the industry needs something to talk about. That's a fact. So if you kind of happen to be in the right place at the right time, you may be the one they're talking about, but it doesn't necessarily equal money. So she did have, some sales from Kanye, like, but how long, how many sales is she gonna have? You know, she has dressed major people like um, Beyonce and Julia Fox. As a 
budding fashion designer in this day, which is not something I had to deal with. So I can't completely relate. Although I think that what it is, is, you know, we're being used kind of by the media. We need to learn how to use the media and not have it use us. Did she need a $40,000 model to make her show? If she's an emerging designer, why does she need a 40,000? Like that as a businesswoman, that's a question I would say. If you needed that $40,000 model to make your show, well then you, your clothing isn't, isn't happening. Uh, unless that model, like what was it, um, Versace, like a lot of those models, just would do the show because they believed in the brand. So could she have found somebody that was, had some clout that, you know, would have done it for free? Like, and I'm with her on that one too, because, because it appears that I'm, you know, have this, that, and the other thing, it's been very challenging to get people to do things for free for me. I always pay, I don't mind that, but, you know, Kid Super, he, he started with all of his friends wanting to be a part of his dream. And so they were doing things for free just because they wanted to be around him. So with this young woman, I feel like she's, how is she gonna make it? You know, how is she, if her clothes are not commercial, how, what is she gonna do? Think that everything's a blessing and a curse. I think that it was hard for me not having any money, but it made me, pivot and figure out other ways to do things. And if somebody's whispering in her ear that this $40,000 model is going to get her sales, I mean, I, you know, that's not correct, right? She didn't, I don't think she needed that model to make the sales. I think she could have found a nail artist to do it for free, to be a part of the exciting amazingness that she's creating in New York. So, although I think this woman obviously has tremendous talent and tremendous um, dreams. She has dreams of really bringing the manufacturing to her. And I think that's amazing. Like she has these giant dreams, but there's something wrong with the business model that you think throwing money at a thing is actually going to bring success. There is no fast way to getting success. You could be dressing Kanye and then next week Kanye is going to go back to Balenciaga. Like it doesn't, don't look so much at what they're feeding us about the social media and even the magazines. Build your clientele from within. Build the people that are supporting you. Find people to support you not that you're going to work for free, but that believe in you and will give you good advice and will, and will help you and ask people that you trust for their feedback on what you're doing as far as what you're spending money on and you know, what your plans are. It's not, and, and if things don't go right, it doesn't mean you're a failure. It means the plans weren't maybe all the way thought out. Like, your results are because of how you plan something. It's not necessarily who you are. Readjust, if it's your passion, you will refocus, readjust, and you will find a way. Money isn't always the answer. Borrowing money puts a burden on your shoulders that really messes you up as an artist and as a creative. Getting funding and suddenly having somebody own a part of your business is not the answer because then you're, controlled and burdened in a different way. Do your art, find your way. You, like it's a, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. Take your time, find people that love you and support you and that will work with you. And don't think paying for something that's flashy and big is like your, your e-ticket to success because it may not be. So my heart goes out to young creatives that because it is a very confusing time where we do think like if Beyonce tagged us in a post that we would make it. I have friends that have loaned Beyonce stuff that and guess what? For some reason it didn't get tagged. And even if it did get tagged, it didn't equal a huge, it didn't equal thousands of sales on that item. 
it just it it gave them them a great you know visual for their Instagram and it gave them something to talk about how big they are but it didn't necessarily equal the success financially and I think that it's easy to think about making quick money and but the really the path is you know if I could give her any advice I would say keep going find your market maybe you just maybe you don't have a huge company maybe you are, are if, if as she is very avant-garde she has a specific clientele that is in this big of a niche that's fantastic find that niche you know go where that niche is you don't need to be on the cover of l magazine that is that is probably not your customer so anyways i'm right here i i love talking fashion i love helping and mentoring young students that are finding their way i have my book right here which is if you have kindle you can download for free and um it's a different time, but just throwing money at something, just remember, isn't necessarily going to equal what you think it is. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more and um, keep doing your art.